Hey friends, Christy with Little Roots Ranch, and today we're going to do a soil test using a mason jar. And um, the purpose of the test is to find out the composition of how, what I have in my soil. And so like as far as clay or silt or sand or whatever it may be. Now I am also getting a professional soil test that will test from everything, you know, heavy metals and pH and basically everything in the whole entire world. But this is also an excellent way and I wanted to test it and compare and contrast with the official results. So if you're not familiar with the mason jar test, basically what you do is you take your mason jar and you fill it, What this is a quart size, and you fill it one third of the way with soil. Then one really important piece, very, very important, is that you have to break it up. You can put it through a fine sieve or you can do it the hard way like I'm doing and just breaking it up inside here. And so I'll continue to do that with through shaking it afterwards. But what I'm gonna do is after I've got it all mixed up and fine particulates, I will add one tablespoon of any liquid detergent like Dawn dish soap, whatever, and then fill it with water and then shake, shake, shake. And then what I'm gonna do, <laughs> dirt hands, then what I'm gonna do is put it out on a flat surface where it's not gonna be disturbed for like 48, 72 hours or whatever. And the theory, I'll be honest, I've never done this test before, so I'm excited to see the results. But the theory is that um, it'll show you the different layers. And so I will bring you back in a couple days to show you the actual layers, and then I'll also read off the soil test results. But this stuff looks pretty mixed up. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the sink and get some water and dish soap. So come with me. Okay, and it is the morning of Thanksgiving, and I am in the way of all the cooking with my soil testing, but if I wasn't in the way with my gardening, I don't know who I'd be. So I've got my stuff. And then what I'm gonna do is put about a teaspoon I guess I can measure it. That's probably a tablespoon. So I'll do like half and put it in there. And I'm gonna get some water. Mix it up nicely. It's like pudding. <laughs> Rinse that off. I'm on a well, so my pressure's low. So it takes a minute for it to fill up. And so, I'm gonna wash my hands too. Put my lid on <clears throat> and my ring and shake, shake, shake. I'll do it off camera so I'm not like shaking for like a few minutes. But you can see now it looks like chocolate milk. And so again, the theory is that over the next couple days or two days, three days, whatever, what'll happen is that the, <laughs> that I get to, the heavier pieces will settle on the bottom and that'll be your clay. And then the lighter stuff will, it'll create like, and based on density, which is based on heaviness, I believe. Um, and so it'll settle out and then you'll be able to look at it. So if I've got like my dark level to like right here, I can say, oh, I've got 40% clay or if it's up here or whatever it may be. But anyway, so I'm going to keep shaking this and get this onto a countertop where it won't get moved at all. And then I'll be back in a couple, well, in just one second on the video, but I'll be back in a couple days to test it out. So be right back. Okay, so it's been a few days and my mason jar has had time to sit um, and I have the official results back from my soil test. So I wanted to share on how the soil block or soil block, how the soil mason jar soil test stacked up against a lab soil test. And I'll do another video to go through the results of the other stuff in the soil test. But for this purpose, so I've been trying to spend time figuring out how to, so first of all, for me, it wasn't very easy to interpret the different layers. I'll be honest. When I look at it, I see easily two different layers and obviously there should be three. So how it's supposed to work 
is that within like the first minute, the sand is the heaviest and it settles down at the bottom. And then within the next like, I don't know, one to two hours, the silt kind of layers or cause floats down, or floats down, it's the opposite, sinks down and layers on top of that. And then over the next two days, the clay will kind of layer on there. And then so you'll be able to see the different layers. So for me, I only see real easy, I can see two distinct layers real easily. And I think I might be able to see the third one, but I will try and show you, I've been trying to figure out how to be able to bring it up to the camera because it doesn't, it doesn't do very well. Let me try a different one because I've been handling that one. Yes, I did multiple. Oh, you can kind of see right there. So you see that line right here that goes across. So I believe that that would be the sand. That would be the silt. And you see that dark layer on the very top? That's the clay. So if I were to look at, so again, this was just mason jar, third of the way filled up with soil, dug down like, I think six or eight inches. Um, not including the very top level and put in here with a little bit of a, a dish soap and then shaken up. But if I were to look at this and interpret it, I would say that it would be about 80, six, 60 to 70% sand and I don't know. If I say 70% sand, I would say like 25, 26, 27, 28% silt, and then just a few percents of clay. I'll try and show you that again. I know it's not showing up very clear. Oh, actually that one's working a little bit better. So it's hard, you can kind of see there's a little bit of difference between here and here, but then there's a thin layer. I don't know if you can see it all the different times. So that's what it looks like just looking at it. My soil report, it says, and I went to uh, Simply Soil Testing. They're in um, Mount Vernon. This isn't like a sponsored thing or anything like that. This is just where I get my soil samples. Um, and I went there and I got their full test. And so, but as far as soil texture, they said that I was 37% sand, 49% silt, and 14% clay, which I was actually really interested to hear those results because I thought I was going to be a lot more clay. They, as far as the, the, the triangle of soil texture classification, I don't know if you can see that there, but as far as the tri triangle, they put me between right and loam, but right next to what is it? Loam, uh, silt loam. So that's where I stand. This is my people garden. Um, I also had the pig garden tested. Uh, and actually it came back almost the same. I'm more in that silt loam though. And it's 33% uh, sand, 53% silt and 14% clay. And so these are the two different soil results that I got. And so of course, these are the two gardens. They're basically almost the same, but I put those next to each other. It's kind of hard to tell. This one you might be able to see. This one I did from a friend's property. You can see it a little bit better, kind of, but it's coming about the same. So if I were to say, I think all in all, I think that the mason jar soil test worked really well if if you're just getting into gardening or if you don't have the funds to spare for a soil test or you're not interested in doing all of that and you just want a cool project. I highly recommend it if it's just a cool project for kids because it's fun to watch it settle out. And I think that it provides some kind of insight into the um, type of soil that you have. Like I, I was actually surprised that it kind of showed the differences a little bit and that it worked in that way. If you're like a professional gardener and an experienced gardener, or you're struggling with like a problem in your soil, 
or you're wanting to take it to the next level and you want like the specific lab analyzed uh, results, then I think obviously you should go for a lab and that's something that is new to me and my farm is I realized that, you know what, I really need to like dive into exactly what I've got in my soil and what I can celebrate and what I need to work on. And I'll do that in a different video. But to compare and contrast just the, the mason jar test with the soil results, I was actually pretty impressed. I mean, it's, they didn't line up I, exactly, but they were pretty much within range. And for something that is on a, like a smaller scale or whatever, I, I would be comfortable with somebody doing this and looking at it and being like, okay, that's a loose composition of my soil. Um, you know, I definitely thought that I had more clay, but both the mason jar test and the lab results said that I did not. So I am very proud owner of loam and what was it? Silt loam, loam and silt loam. Um, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, I definitely thought I was more clay. But anyways, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Go and hit that like button because it helps my content go further. And I really appreciate that. Um, if you've done the, the mason jar soil test and I would love to hear what you thought of it or if the, you felt the layers were easy to read, they were definitely, for me, not as easy as I've seen pictures on social media. <laughs> the, the layers are all distinct. For me, I definitely was like, what is that? <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you for watching and happy gardening. Bye.